I'm gonna go stick a tooth in a fire now. <gasps> no, go stick the tooth in the statue. Oh! Smart. Ariel places the tooth into the hole. Nothing seems to happen. Hmm. Ariel pushes the tooth into the hole. But I you killed, killed it. it. You monster. Did did I kill it? I thought we would confirm that. I would save in another slot. And see if something changed in the other room. Oh, did you examine the portrait on the wall? I did before, but I'll check it again. No. I can't see, it's too dark, because I haven't opened it. I'm just staring at this closed cupboard. <clears throat> yes, you did kill it. Because I told her to. I love the excessive amount of gore. Throw the book in the fire! That wouldn't do anything! Maybe not for you. So, uh, was there anything on the desk down there in the shadows? <clears throat> it's too dark, I can't see! Nothing. Dang, it's too dark! I can't see! <sighs> so... I did this. Throw the book in the fire. That's what I don't need this. I'll hold on to it for now. I don't need it, but I'll hold on to it. <laughs> Prop it open with the book. Maybe she's special. No, she just needs a light. Throw it in the bucket. <laughs> Throw it in the book. Burn the witches. Can I leave? Nope. Oh. You can go now. Because we killed- Oh, you stuff! Dang it. Logged in with everybody with the stuff. Locked. Not locked. Ooh. Anyone searches through the darkness. Huh? What is this? Pick up object? Yes. And picks the object and size it closer. It's a broken bone! Ew. Did you take it? It smells yes. funny. <laughs> Why does she smell it? How many steps have I taken? I've taken 2,157 steps. Well, you see, she has this odd habit of smelling everything. So much of this stuff everywhere. Maybe it's blood? A shiver goes down aiming the spot. I can't see anything. I can see fine. Why is there so much blood here? Does she have a light on her or something? Because it's following us. I hate Hello, windows. Well, that flipped over her head. Okay, do you, do, you, do you see this? Do I see what? It's off color! Uh... It, it's, it's, it's off. It's, it's, it's off and it's bugging me! Jeez. Oh, you will throw everything in the fire! If you could, you'd throw... I should look around in here more. Okay. Into the freezer thingy. Examine the beds. Sleep in the bed. I... Examine the strange wall. Examine the other side of the strange wall. I can't. There's a thing in the way. No, I mean like towards you. And that thing keeps clipping over her head. Oh, I see that now. 
<laughs> Were you, like, really confused about what I was talking about? Maybe. It keeps clipping over her head! What are you talking- what are you on? Well, you see, we're not gonna talk about what I'm on. No one needs to know what I'm on. Oh, there's a hole. I think there's a button inside this hole. I can't reach it. Put the bone in it! Anna pushes the bone into the hole. The bone hits the button and falls into the wall. Wow! And then there's- Light. And now you can see! These are really sharp. Looks like they could be- they can cut anything. Take a knife? Yes! A surge of pain shoots through Anna's neck. Ouch! Who did that? It feels like it is getting colder. And darker! I don't think you're supposed to take that knife. Behind hey, you. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, sorry! Sorry! Behind you! Jeez. <laughs> ha! Ba -ba -da -da -ba -da. Do you know what that looks like? Uh, kind of. What does it look like? What do you think it looks like? Legend of Zelda. I was thinking something along those lines. There's also some uh, sludge monsters and a few other games that look identical to that. Hmm. So, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, in that stupid well to get the lens of truth. That thing, is it a dead hand? I think it's called a dead hand. Uh, no, the dead hand's what comes down from the ceiling. No, that's a, um, wall master. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, it is a dead hand. Yeah. It's a dead hand, man. Look at that. Except for it's, um, right instead of, like, that. Yeah. Quickly. So there are, are some monsters here too. And I hear someone sobbing. Metis? No, I'm too manly for that. It sounds like it's coming from that room next to me. Do, do, do you see this? Yep. This wall looks different to the others. It's intentional. I can't. Dang Cut it. it. I try. Do you use Ioni ref like Ioni logic there. Cut the wall. That's what I was going to do, but it didn't. I think this is where the crying is coming from. But this door is open, so we're going here instead. Broken stuff. There's growling, by the way. Just letting you know. There's Annie what? A there was growling when I walked over this stuff. Ah. Annie must use a red covered book and opens it. Why did you send monsters to do my job? Does this stupid bitch not know how trustworthy I am? I need to calm down. These creatures go downstairs without my permission to take something back- to take some backup fuel whenever they please. How dare they! Many times I've had to push aside my wife's questions about the eerie sliding or skittering sound. They need to stop getting into my fuel. How does she expect me to give- to keep giving her what she wants when she sends demons to do my job. Even demons can be bitches. Besides, she allowed me to give them orders. The fuckers only follow them when they feel like it. They are creepy looking creatures too. Why didn't Amy just send a nice little demon here to help me? I need to take some medication so I can sleep tonight. And it has a few pages. They are all empty. She skips through the book until there is some text. What does- What has she done to Amira- she seems like she has gotten major depression overnight. Has Amy been reading these diaries? To add on top of that, she turned those creatures invisible. At least they are a lot more quiet. But now they could be anywhere. Quick entry. She has sent demons to kill me. I'm sure of it. They are crawling all inside my house. I can never get a good look at them during the night. It seems they go back into the portal during the day. Only a few old books lay on these shelves. Same. I'm not going to bother dating these. I'm too tired to do so. Why am I writing these things? Why am I writing down these things? To clarify with myself. Either way, the headaches, weakness, and hallucinations have gone. I don't know why or how, but they are gone. Amy told me to take the, those pills after the suffering has ended. I don't get it, but it no when I'm not in pain and forces me to do so? To be so? Mm. I still cannot believe I am doing this. My wife is being suspicious and often questions me if I hear odd noises coming from below. I have to quickly brush it off as if the wind or her imagination. This won't last long. Soon she'll find out when it will be all over. 
next part of the diary has been scribbled over and ripped. Anima tries to read it anyway. She better not find it or... Anima tries to salvage the piece, uh, pieces ripped on the shelf. Stupid f Ain't trust her. Anima looks through the shelves quickly and finds another piece of paper. My violent episodes only seem to happen after the pain stops. Perhaps this is why Amy gives me these pills. Why does she care about my, for my well-being? Maybe she can't trust an insane human. Maybe the human turns into a demon and destroys everything Amy has been working for. Hmm. I like that outfit. And a book. Terrible condition. I just... I just can't! I just can't do it for much longer. This task is ripping me apart from the inside. It turns me into a monster! Today I was standing behind Darling and Mira, and I could smell her blood. I could feel it moving in my veins. I need it, and I wanted it. But before I could act, she turned around and saw me staring at her with a knife in my hand. She just stared at me, her eyes widened a little. She questioned me about the knife. I snapped out of it and told her I found it in the family room when I was returning it to the kitchen. I could see she didn't believe me. She didn't believe me, that stupid bitch! I didn't mean to write that. What am I becoming? <laughs> Uncle Jack, what is happening to you? I'm well, really... yes. he changed his fashion sense. <laughs> I'm really enjoying reading these, if you couldn't tell. I can tell. Okay. It seems like the sickness doesn't fully develop in children. Strange how it only causes hallucinations and headaches, but not insanity and uncontrollable rage. Perhaps it is because of their pure heart and soul? It has not seen the real world and slowly become deformed. Examine the outfit. I did. It didn't do anything. I love how she's like soaking wet, but eh, I'm fine with that. Bottles with random colored liquid inside. One of them is labeled strong poison. Drink it. I knew you said Nothing inside. I know you were thinking it. Noise. I was frozen for a second. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Did you examine both sides of it? Oh yeah, looking over the shelves, Anima sees a piece of paper and picks it up. It says, The ruins are infested with them. I have destroyed the bridge and hope that they won't get across to my house. Oops. <laughs> On another note, Amira found one of my diaries. Luckily, it didn't say any everything I was hiding, but she did read a passage about Amy. I think She thinks I'm cheating on her. How am I going to get out of this one? This book looks interesting. Anima pulls out a book from the bookshelf and opens it. It says, Amy is a great president and appeareth in a flame of fire, but having taken man's shape, she maketh one marvelous in astrology, and in all the liberal sciences, she procureth excellent familiars. She be wraith treasures preserved by spirits. She hath the government of sixty-six legions. Thirty-six legions. Thirty-six. <laughs> she is partly of the order of angels, partly of potential. Test stats. She hopeth after a thousand two hundredth years to return to the seventh throne, which is not credible. And puts the book down and rubs her eyes. Turns out I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> She's adorable, admit it. Wood! I'm gonna look at the rest of this room before I go. Ah. Outfits! Try on the pink one. Dang it. I wish I knew how to play piano. Your son does. She doesn't have any kids. I was talking to you. I know. <laughs> I was being a dick. Hey, now. Hey, a candle. And a TV. Totally fits the mood. Oh, a TV! I wish it worked. I hear Is a microwave. That's... yeah. Okay, go through that door. Why this one? Because I want to see... Alright, so it leads over there. Apparently it goes on the stairs. Should we go look at for Metis? Eh, I checked the little corner room. <laughs> Both places get you there. Locked. It 
So, Greeny. This room feels strange. I know you can't hear it, Zero, but there's a lot of whispering. Oh. That sounds like Bloodlines, Vampire in the Script. It's like it sounds like Hello Girl. What is that noise? Whispering. Hello? And of course it's in the kitchen. It stopped. Well, because <gasps> you were rude. Evil laughter. <laughs> Not insane, evil. Oh. <laughs> I can't do that. Where are things in the Were there things in the room with me? Well, they're invisible. I think I feel something. Ah! Go away, you stupid things! That's not gonna help you. Bridge, I won't get the axe. There's a picture of me and Uncle Jack I drew at us, of us playing on a field. I hope Jack hasn't gone crazy. And if it tries, turn your tap. Nothing comes out. I Don't need step water. on the lines. I need water. <gasps> Envelope! The knife is really rusty, and the food seems old. I wish I could eat it. Haven't I seen this before? Yes. Haven't I seen this before? I think I hear more of them. Ah! I knew it! What do you want? What do we want? <laughs> <laughs> Wish we could get your son to do the voices because they seem like they're demons. Yeah. I like making things goofy. I know. Eh, please, don't hurt me. <gasps> hurt you? No, we're not like that. Though your flesh does uh, smell good. Anima begins to shiver and cry. No, 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 no. We won't hurt you. But he will. <laughs> Who? What? Evil monster noise. We need to know. Yes, yes, yes! He will! Run, you little girl. Run to the last door at the end of the hallway. You'll find no problems opening it now. Sounds suspicious. Oh no. Suspect. Read the note. Oh, it's him. Hi. Brother had run or been crying. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ah, Dexter's lab. I love how she actually isn't running when she ran before. Yeah. Magical. But that really does look like the dead hand. I love how it went away. I know, me too. I was like, ah, oh, dang it, she's gonna go into that room. I can't follow her now. Don't click at me, Bella. I don't know what to do. Anima's heart is still pounding. She tries to think straight. My head hurts so much. My body aches. Time to pass out. I need to rest. Apparently not. Ooh. This looks like I haven't been here for long. Axe. This axe looks small. As small as me. Then you don't take it. There are a lot of classes in this house. Well, there's lots of drinking in this house. I remember when Mummy would play piano really well. She was really good at it. I miss you, Mummy. You just phased the that piano. This one looks angry. That looks like blood on the bed. Rest on it. Save. I must save, kitty cat. I wonder what this is. It's locked. Did you examine its expression? 
Yeah. Did you check the thing in the corner? The box? Oh, I think I did, but I don't remember. Not yeah. the box. The other corner. No, I haven't gone over here yet. These look thick. And you can't examine curtains. the statue thing. Bloody torn curtains. Go back and get the letter. Or go down. Locked. Thing. I think I should go a different way. Did you read those notes? Did you make a pot of tea? <laughs> Alright, what do you have in your inventory? A sharp knife and a strange book. Alright. I need to lay down. <laughs> she is on the bloody bed! Yes! We were right! I think I passed out again. How long was I asleep for? Anna pushes her hand under the pillow. <laughs> a letter! There you go! You have a kind of letter. Yeah. A name written on the front reads Anima. Anima opens the letter and finds a small key inside. The letter says... They are not all that bad, my dear. Some of us managed to escape before we were sucked into the demonic abyss. Amy has gotten hungrier and the portal keeper cannot keep us. Amy is starting to send her own agents from all souls. I am sorry, young one. You may not understand. I have given you the key to the back door next to the candle. Leave this place. The last child that came here has. Well, let us uh, just say he is doomed to have a soul ripped from his body. Let us. Anima drops the letter on the floor. Metis. It is talking about Metis, isn't it? Anima bursts into tears. I am so sorry, Metis. But I will save you, and no monster will stop me. Aww. I kind of like her. Take the axe. <laughs> take the axe. It's as small as you, which means it'll be easy for you to use. But no, let's just leave it. All right, I guess I have to go through that door, though. Did the bottom one unlock? Yeah, no. What? Oh, I could guess I can you try the key on that. Nope. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Strange book. I want to see if I can do anything with it. And I'm gonna slide the key into the lock and turns it. The door unlocks, but the key breaks. Whoever made this is bad at making keys. It's so dark out here, I can't see anything. But I can, kind of. In a weird way. Shh. She's on long, dark, narrow corridors. That's like shh, the best shh, things shh. ever. As I walk, weird noises keep going, so it's atmosphere, so shh. <laughs> What? You got friends in low places. That's oh, beautiful. I thought it was kind of lovely too. <laughs> Listen, you can't sing Garth to me. There's literally nothing. I don't even know how I can leave this place. Oh, and it removes the thick branch placed in both of the handles. The door can now be pushed open. Ha! Oh, Get you want that letter. note, right? And it picks up the letter. It's blank. Words start to form on the letter. Huh? It appears you'd rather stay and try to help your dear friend. I admire your ambition, little girl. But this place is not for you. Escape while you still have a chance. I do not have any other keys that will allow you to exit if you get trapped in here. You must. No, no! A question mark appears in the paper. No! I'm not leaving without Metis! I love him and he is my brother! My dear, Sorry. please, you must. Shut up! Stop it! 
All the text on the page drains away and evaporates into the air. I'm, I'm sorry. Please don't go. You're the only nice thing to me. More text begins to appear. You have a very stubborn mind, young one. I will help you, but me simply existing within this house increases my chances of getting caught and sent to where no soul should ever be sent. But to save another soul, a child's soul, that makes it worth the risk. Anima, you must listen to me. You must destroy the portal. It's the only way to end it all. Amy may come through the portal any moment now. You have to do whatever it takes to get the portal and destroy it. I don't know what a portal is. How can I destroy it? Some more Leave textures. that to me. You must go upstairs. But to get there, you need to find the lever. I have seen it in the garage, but it's locked. Most of the keys are kept downstairs, in the dungeon. Careful there, Anima. There are some creatures down there that are there for a reason. Anima takes a deep breath. Before you go, what is your, your name, mister? The paper stays blank for a short period of time. My last name is Valentine. Vincent! It's what? Vincent Valentine. Who's Vincent Valentine? Final Fantasy. Oh. The page tur- burns quickly into ashes. The ashes fall through Anima's fingers. Valentine? <laughs> but that's my last name. It's your huh? daddy. What was that? Sounds like it came from the guest suite. It's your daddy. Just saying. Another TV? Uncle Jack must be rich. Wow, two small old-fashioned TVs. I know it's just the cup. This feels very, very cold. Actually, um, let me count. One, two, three, four, five. We have five tall buildings in my house. I'm not gonna get into how many we have. <laughs> yeah, don't. Ooh, chair. Ew, is this blood? These monsters were drinking blood? Yep. I think she's becoming slightly numb now. Mm hmm. Oh! It's a body. So, that scary thing that chased me before killed this? It got mad. Because you left it. That generally means there's something important going on in that spot. Just saying, it happened before. Nothing. Hmm. Locked. Oh, what about that weird wall thing? You should go back there and open it. Yep. I'm listening to a conversation going on. <laughs> In the background of your house? Yeah. I can hear part of it. Something about an apartment and whatever. I love how bright this room is. Whoa! Hey, it actually opened itself!